Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to put this Frigidaire top load washing machine to a service test mode. Okay, before going into a service test mode, what you want to do is make sure the tub is clear. Uh, if you have any clothes or any items in the bottom of the tub, you want to make sure you get those removed. If there's any water left at the bottom of the tub as well, what you can do is you can put the unit into a drain and spin cycle and that will drain all the water out and then you'll be good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and go into the test mode. Uh, anytime during the test mode, if you want to exit, you exit by pressing the power button. All right, so let's go ahead and go into our first test, which is going to be our LED test. Uh, we're going to press and hold these three buttons, the power button, soak button, and the extra rinse button simultaneously. All right, you should hear six beeps, and the LED should flash six times as well. If any of the lights are not on, if the display does not show 88 in the middle, or if you have no beeps coming from that board, then what you want to do is replace this control board. All right. Um, now there are five tests within the this service test mode. Each of those tests, you have to go through test number one. Uh, once you go into test number one, there is a button sequence that you have to press uh, within those six beeps and those six flashes on the um, on the control board. All right, for the second test, we will have to press and hold down the same three um, for the LED test. Um, within those beeps, you want to press the soil button. All right, so in your wash test, um, you'll see the motor agitate. Um, and also, if you look in your display, you also see a countdown starting from three minutes. And after the second test in, you will hear a sequence of beeps and you will have the done indicator light flashing. And then you have your counting sequence. All right, so let's go into our third test. Our third test is going to be testing the drain pump, the pressure sensor, and also the spin. All right, so now we're going to press our temp button. All right, so you will hear the drain pump come in for about eight seconds. And now we have our spin going on two seconds after that. Okay, so the value that you're seeing in your window is the value of the pressure sensor. All right, so you need to be within a range of 62 to 69. Uh, for empty tub, that would indicate that the pressure sensor is getting a good reading. Okay, so this spin is going to go on for about three minutes before it times out. After it times out, you will hear beeping and you will see a counting sequence. Um, after it's done, you will, ha you will have your done indicator light flashing as well. All right, so let's go into our next test, which is test four, which is going to test our water inlet valve. In order to get into it, of course, we're going to hold our our three buttons to go into our LED test, and then we want to press our fabric softener button as well um, after we get into the LED test. All right, so what you're seeing in your display, uh, you see a sequence of letters and numbers. Uh, those are just indicating the software uh, from our boards. All right, so in this test, um, what we want to do is gain access to the water supply coming from the home. First thing you want to do is go ahead and turn our cold water off. We should have hot water entering into the tub. We want to grab a hold of our hose. All right, we have a little, some vibration, so it does appear as if we have some hot water entering. Turn the cold water back on. Now shut the hot water off. Now let's grab our hose to make sure we have water coming through. All right, so we do have some vibration, so it does appear that we are getting cold water as well. Let's turn our hot water back on. All right, there we go, the test has completed. All right, so let's go into our last test, test number five, which is our auto sensing test. Okay, so in this test, you will see the motor agitate. Uh, you also get some figures in your display after the test is done. 
Um, what we're looking for is a complete test. Uh, we don't want to have any type of error codes show up in our window. Uh, the test only runs for about a few seconds. Beep confirmation. And then you have a, your account up sequence. All right, so we have completed our test mode. Everything is checking out fine. Um, next, what I would do is go to the consumer and let them know that the unit is operating properly.